Cash is trash. And you might think to yourself, this guy is a complete idiot and he has no idea what he's talking about. Maybe you're right, that'll be messed up. But I actually am right to a sense and I'll explain to you why that cash is trash. The financial word of the day is also yield. In finance, the yield on a security is the amount of cash and percentage terms that returns to the owners of the security in the form of interest or dividends received from it. And you guys see this every single week when I do invest into stocks and into companies, they do provide a dividend yield. So, so if I invest $100 into a stock that has a 5% yield, I get $5 back on that $100 every single year that I hold that stock. Now, welcome back to the channel, everybody. We have an interesting one. You probably never heard of this. You probably heard the exact opposite, that cash is king. Well, let me tell you why cash is not king. Now. Cash is just a piece of paper that could be burned, thrown out, and disposed of any second of the day. Having cash sit around, it loses its value every single day, every single second. And that's why you hear, oh, if you have a big savings, you're gonna be all right, you'll survive. But what happens when the saving runs out and you're just down to your last dollar? Now this money is the last of what you got. The money that you did save, you should invest it. And I'll explain to you why you should invest it. So it's not about cash is king. Sitting cash is not king and it's actually really bad. You have to have the flow of cash. The flow of cash is very detrimental to having a lot of money. Would you rather have the stack of cash one time or receive $50 every month or every hour or every day and as you can see whatever i did invest in is giving me money every single month hour year and it grows and every time i spend fifty dollars i get it right back the next month and then back the next month again so you're gonna see this accumulation of money that's what you guys want now, Robert Kiyosaki says that you guys have to create a money printer. And I'm not talking about a printer that actually makes you money because that would be very illegal. Do not print money at home. That is called counterfeiting. Even though the government does do that, no one's gonna arrest the government. You can't arrest the government. They have the power to do what they choose. You can make your own legal money printer, like starting a business or investing into companies. So I currently have two money printers. I have an Amazon business and I have my dividend portfolio. Now each month or every two weeks, they send me a check for what I put into it. You know, I put my time and effort into my business and I receive a check every couple of weeks. I put my time and money into investing into stocks and I get a check every month, every three months and every year through dividend stocks. That's how I'm able to print my own money. Now I have it on a small scale right now, but you can see that over time, once the pot gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and there's more product, more product, more product, you're going to be printing money. This is essentially what Robert Kiyosaki is talking about. Not actually at home, cranking out the printer and actually counterfeiting money. Now you tell me, would you rather be able to print money and have money come in every single month, every single year, every single hour? Or would you rather have a stack? You want the flow of cash or cash flow. You guys see it on my shirt. I'm not wearing it today, but I usually wear it every single video and it says cash flow. I'm obsessed with this idea of cash flow because it gives you infinite amount of money. Money keeps on rolling in without essentially you even doing anything in some cases when you invest your money. That's the purest form of the greatest life ever that you don't have to work for money anymore. The rich people don't work for money. They don't trade their time for money. That is a big no-no in what they do. And you might say to yourself, well, I'm not a rich person. Like, I'm never gonna be able to do all that stuff. It all starts from right here. It takes a mindset shift from what you're doing currently. We all probably work a job and we have to clock in and clock out and then we receive a paycheck. But in this other world of the rich, there is the businesses, the stocks, there is the real estate that brings in money and you don't even have to be there. You can set it up for, let's say your business, you can get an operation going and you wanna start a business and you wanna find the best way so that you can leave it and still have it producing money without you even being there. Just like stocks, I put my money in and without me even doing anything, I get a check. And it's just like real estate. You buy a house, you rent it out, you don't live there, 
you have other people live there and they pay down the mortgage and they paid off the interest and they pay in the house insurance and they pay the taxes on it and you receive a small profit or it could be a wide profit from the difference and that's exactly what we should all be aiming for guys we should be shooting for the stars and we should be shooting for these three different categories real estate business and stocks you know i just gave you game right here whole game right here and it's really that simple. I didn't say it was easy, the concept is very simple. But remember, we all tend to probably think that if it's that simple, then why doesn't everybody do it? Well, that's the case. Everybody wants something to be very complicated and they want it to be very complex because they don't want to do it necessarily. And I don't blame them. It does take a lot of gut and it does take a lot of courage to get to that point where you are investing every single week. And it does take a lot of courage to get to a point where you have a business, you have to run a business and time management and trying to balance everything like that and owning a property, having the rent paid on time, uh, having the insurance taxes, all sounds like a lot. And it is, but you know, nothing in this life that is great comes easy, it just doesn't. You gotta put the hard work into it and you gotta be consistent every single day, every single minute, every single week. So thank you guys for watching so much. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Like this video a bunch. Please comment down below what you think of money do you think it's trash or do you think it's king and tell me exactly why you feel that way uh if you do have any investments comment down below comment anything you want comment any questions i'm here to answer them and i'm here to uh, give you my best advice have a blessed day thank you guys so much